Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We're here with Lena Bay's flight attendant. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. I am saying hello from beautiful Cancun, Mexico. We just got here. We worked two flights this morning and we went from Orlando to St. Louis and then St. Louis to Cancun. Our layover here is 23 hours and 53 minutes. I have a few things in mind that I would like to do. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. I also have a lot of things that I need to take care of that will require for me to stay in my room. And I don't know if I wanna take care of that now or what. I'm excited to bring you on a trip I know that we've been doing a lot of turns. It's been a slow month for sure, but yeah, I am excited to, to bring you guys along and see what we get ourselves into on this vlog. I unfortunately did not get an ocean view this time, and there are some signs over there, so for safety reasons, I am unable to show you my view. I have a feeling that this room was either recently renovated, it smells like new, so I don't know if they changed furniture. I've never actually gotten a king-size bed before, so this is a first one, but it's a very, very spacious room. That's where I'm gonna have breakfast and my coffee and do a little bit of work. If I wanna think about life, then I'll just sit there. My luggage rack, a nice TV, got some drawers. I have a fridge over here, a little sink. That's kinda cool. Coffee maker and all the essentials. Closet over here with some essentials as well. You guys know that I always travel with my steamer. I have the shower, which has a bathtub or the bathroom I should say, with a bathtub and then an actual shower. That's actually a light bulb, but it gives you the illusion that it's just like an outdoor shower, which is pretty cool. And that's it, this is the room that we're getting for the next 20 something hours here in Cancun. For international travel, sometimes you have certain restrictions. Based on my research and talking to people at the airport, as long as the items that you're bringing are sealed and in their original packaging, then you should be good. So I thought if I'm going to Mexico, I'm probably gonna wanna eat tacos or quesadillas or whatever. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring my own. So I brought these almond flour tortillas. These are very delicate tortillas. If you warm them off for too much, they'll fall apart. Two of these thinly sliced steak. This is the original flavor. And this is the chile lime. I've never tried them before. I got some baby bells to go along with that. Grain tortilla chips. They're gluten free. Not that I am. <laughs> I got a whole thing of guac. This is for breakfast tomorrow. I have a protein shake and I have the brekkie overnight oats. This is a dark chocolate flavor. I don't know what I was thinking. Dark chocolate overnight oats and dark chocolate protein shake. But you know what? We're going to go with it. I have this prebiotics and probiotic soda. I saw it at Publix when I went the other day and I was like, why not try them? Two of these little snacks, one tiny Coke Zero, got a whole thing of mozzarella cheese, chicken breast strips, fully cooked, sliced into strips. So I'm gonna split this in half for today and tomorrow and I'm basically gonna be eating the same thing twice. This is everything that I packed earlier today. I had two of these, but the flavor that I have for the overnight oats was vanilla, cinnamon and vanilla. And those were actually very good. And I had a turkey breast sandwich. I also got some coffee. But yeah, I'm gonna put all these things away and then see what I do next. I am going to try both of these with you. All of that that I showed you was $32 minus the tortillas. I've actually bought those a long time ago never used them so I saw them and I was like this is perfect but let's try the original one only thing about this is I don't like the amount of sodium that they have this is so good the entire container which is literally two ounces 180 calories I also realized when I try food I should really cover my mouth my mom taught me better but I just get excited to have you guys try things. I don't know about this one. It smells kind of weird. It has like a nice little kick to it. I'm so proud of myself for trying these. Because something that I never share with you guys. I'm very picky when it comes to food. If food looks a certain way, I won't eat it. So good. So good. Finished the gym and I decided that I'm going to go to... A convenience store that's not that far from the hotel still a bit of a walk and I'm gonna try to find a bottle of wine I feel like that's what I want to do the rest of the day I know I was going back and forth with what I wanted to do so I might just take my wine to the beach or the pool 
and then go back to my room to have dinner because you guys know that I have dinner. Also, another thing that you guys should know about me, if you don't know this by now, I'm gonna go on a little adventure on a layover. Unless I actively want to be a slam clicker, which originally, that's what I thought I was going to do here. But then I saw the water and I was like, man, I should really get out of my room. And now that I worked out, I feel great. I'm glad I'm doing this because it's so easy to just say I'm tired and I'm gonna stay in my room. And another thing about me is I'll go on a little adventure by myself. I have zero problem going anywhere by myself. And obviously, I have to be careful. I make sure that I knew where I was going. Oh, I gotta tie my shoelace, hang on. Okay, let's continue on with the adventure now that I tie my shoe. I got some water. I could have taken the bus, but since I'm on this workout mood, I am okay with walking. I'm not trying to break the bank. There was also happy hour, but I don't know. Something about just leaving the hotel, walking somewhere to get something it sounds more fun and exciting to me. Let's do it. I always think prices are in American dollars. <laughs> Can you imagine if you actually had to pay $18.50 for a bottle of water? Actually, y'all, I think I found wine. This bottle of wine is 145 Mexican pesos. We're gonna find out. Mex Mexican peso. Fits 145. That's $7 for a bottle of wine. I think we're gonna go for it. Maybe we go with this one. Hey, see, that's it. My operation also was very successful. I was able to get a bottle of wine. I ended up getting the smaller one because number one, I'm not gonna drink all that wine. And yeah, it's gonna go to waste. I'm not trying to get, you know, drunk or anything. I ended up paying all together like $9. I ended up getting a big thing of water. I got a candy bar. My plan after getting back to the room was to hit the pool and the beach. It is currently 427. I think we're gonna make dinner now because it's gonna take at least 40 minutes. And the pool doesn't really close until eight o'clock at night. So I think we can go to the pool and the beach later. And right now I'm gonna start cooking my food because it is a long process. We don't have a microwave here. However, I do have my hot logic. So I'm gonna get to cook now and I'll see you in a little bit. Dinner is served. This is very hot, but I got some chicken tacos here. I really wish I had like a mango salsa or some pico de gallo, but you know what? It's okay. At least we have food, right? Going to enjoy my little dinner here, have a good time by myself. I'm grateful for all of this. I think I should be very honest with you guys. On my way here, the entire time I'm thinking I have to vlog, I don't want to, and don't get me wrong, guys. I really love vlogging for you guys and bringing you to work with me but these past couple weeks have been very difficult, very rough, hence why we've been posting a lot less, and you guys know that I needed a little break. Ever since I left my home this morning, I was like, I don't wanna go to Cancun, and I don't wanna go there, I don't wanna go to work, and I am so glad I did. Seriously, that workout really changed my entire mood because even going to the gym, I was just pushing myself. I think it is important for us to push ourselves because Right now I'm having the best time. I got my little wine, which I probably have like a glass left on my second glass, but that's okay. I just feel so grateful that, you know, I have a job, I have a life. I don't get to be in Cancun every day, especially for work. That's kind of crazy. Basically going on a little paid vacation and yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we left the room. I'm glad we did all of that. I was gonna take my time, eat here, and we're gonna see each other in a little bit. Welcome to my favorite pool in this whole resort. I actually get to have the pool for myself. After we saw each other, I stayed in my room for a little bit. I watched some Netflix, ate my food, and then I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna stay in my room, but then I was like, no, I gotta go. I gotta have a good time and I gotta go to the pool. Even if it's just for an hour, it is currently 7.32 p.m. 
The pool closes at like 10 or 8, one of the two, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just chilling here, hanging out. I get to have the pool for myself. There's some people sitting back there, but I'm the only one in the pool. Now I'm just gonna enjoy this pool for maybe another 30 minutes, like I said, and then it'll be time to head back to my room. Well, hello guys, it is a lot later since the last time you and I talked. It is close to 10 o'clock at night. I've been watching Ridiculousness for, I don't know, maybe the last hour or so. And I love that show. It's never gonna get old for me. I am just thinking that I never told you anything about this trip, you know, our duty and all that. But basically, we did MCO to St. Louis and then we did St. Louis to Cancun. Our block for today was five hours and 36 minutes, which is what the actual flight times were all together. And then our credit, which is where we get paid five hours and 58 minutes. Our total duty for today was seven hours and 50 minutes. And our time away from base for this trip is 41 hours and 42 minutes. Tomorrow, we basically do the same thing backwards. Oh my God, I need to go to sleep. Our duty and block is different. Anyway guys, I hope that you guys enjoy day one of this two day trip. Tomorrow, I would love to wake up early, go to the beach, since we didn't get to see it today. Good night. Good morning guys and welcome to day two of two. I've been doing the bare minimum. Finally got out of bed for good. I just got up to make some coffee and then went back. I was watching some Netflix and I started doing some research for some upcoming traveling that I'm planning. It is 9 a.m. now. I've been up since probably seven and i think i'm just gonna go to the beach and you know sit there for a little bit and then come back to the room to start getting ready to go to work i have a protein shake for breakfast and i also have overnight oats part of me just wants to go to a little cafe and get a like a cappuccino and maybe get a small pastry and just eat that and sit in front of the beach but i should really eat what i brought so i haven't decided it's not the end of the world if i don't drink my protein shake or eat my overnight oats i can always have it for later i'm going to put my shoes on and leave my room and let's have an awesome day made it to the beach i forgot my sunglasses but i'm kind of far from my room so we're not going back there, but I ended up going to a little cafe and I found a bacon, egg and cheese croissant and I got a coffee. I remember that we get 30% discount. Is it 30 or 20? One of the two. Altogether, this was $8.02. So it wasn't, wasn't super expensive. The plan right now is just to sit here, enjoy breakfast and just enjoy the views. It's so beautiful out here. This also looks very, very good. Um, it smells good too. Welcome to a lot later. I am almost done and almost ready to go to work. It is currently 12.02. My van is at 12.54. But usually I like to get to the lobby at least like five to 10 minutes early because sometimes if the entire crew is there, we might leave a little early. So that means less rushing in the airport. Our airport time today is 1.34 p.m. and we're working two legs. Our blocking credit for today is six hours and 13 minutes. Our duty, nine hours and 18 minutes. Our first leg is is Cancun to St. Louis. This flight is blocked at three hours and 26 minutes and it says that the actual flight time wheels up to wheels down is going to be 304. That's a little too long for my liking but it's okay. And then it says that we have an hour and 45 minutes sit. Our flight from St. Louis to MCO is blocked at two hours and 47 minutes but the actual flight time wheels up to wheels down is or wheels up to touchdown is two hours and 26 minutes. Our duty off tonight is 11.52 p.m. We're scheduled to arrive in Orlando at 11.22 p.m. And the total credit for this trip was 12 hours and 11 minutes. That's what I have for you guys. This layover was very chill and, you know, didn't really do much, which was needed. But there's a lot happening. I don't even know where to start. Also trying to figure out exactly what it is that I'm feeling. I can't really vocalize that 
to you guys in terms of like work and trips and vlogging and all that if I don't really know what it is. I think taking that break from posting twice a week was good for me. But I don't know, a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking to do. I am still hustling for these hours because there's nothing guys, even for next month. I finally got my schedule. I got three trips and two turns. I dropped the two turns and here we are required to fly a minimum of 50 hours a month. I'm currently 52 hours, which if I'm unable to find anything, which I usually do, I wouldn't be in trouble. So I'm not worried about that part because imagine not having hours also being on the chopping block to get in trouble. I, I wouldn't want to be that person. So 52 hours, I have three trips, two are four day trips, and then one is a three day trip. They all have red eyes. That's the only way that I'm able to get trips at this time. We're navigating some rough waters over here, y'all. I thought I'd come on here, give you all those updates, let you know what's going on. I feel like I'm all over the place. Like I got so much going on um, and I'm trying to like, you know, organize everything, but I guess I just have to be patient and go through, go through the motion. I am going to finish up getting ready here. And if I don't see you at any point today when we leave Cancun or in St. Louis, I am for sure going to see you when I get home to Orlando. Welcome to Orlando. We just finished our trip. We actually landed an hour and 10 minutes early. And can you believe that somebody was upset that we landed an hour and 10 early? Granted, if you didn't know, flights are sometimes overblocked because they might give you a route, but there might be weather, so the flight might end up being what it's blocked at, but if there's good weather and maybe some tailwinds, then the flight might end up being less. So most of the time, flights are overblocked. Usually, <laughs> not like this one, but I couldn't believe that he was so upset that we landed early. Never had that before, so we definitely got a first. And the craziest thing is, even though we landed early, our gate was available. Ground personnel was there waiting for us. And there was already a gate agent waiting for us as well, which sometimes here in Orlando, that doesn't happen. But the fact that everything worked out well is crazy. Our duty off was supposed to be 11.52 p.m. It is currently 10.48 p.m. and I am ready to go home. And overall, it was a good day. The flights were okay. We had 74 passengers on the first flight and we had 92 passengers on the second flight. Service was not busy at all. People were sleeping most of the time. Usually when you have people coming from international destinations, they really don't buy stuff. Most of them also bring their snacks. So we didn't really do much with service. Overall, it was a good trip. I had a good crew. And yeah, now it's time to go home and go back to my regular schedule for the month, which involves a lot of turns because I was not able to get on more trips this month. And that's okay, it's the name of the game. I really hope that things change for the upcoming months because scrambling for hours is crazy and also requires a lot of time. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But thank you so much for coming with me on this two day trip to Cancun. I hope that you enjoy watching. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to see you next time for another adventure. Take care.